Jimmy Kimmel Live, 1135, 1035 Central, this week on ABC. Want to know what your RV is worth today? Now is the best time to take advantage of Barry's RV free appraisal service. Barry's RV is paying top dollar for quality used RVs, motorhomes, fifth wheels, travel trailers, tent trailers, and campers. Paid for or not, even if you owe more than your RV is worth, you owe it to yourself. Barry's RV will find you the best solution. Barry's RV, 58 and South Union Avenue, or go to barrysrv.com. 23 ABC News is brought to you in high definition by BMW of Bakersfield. Purchase or lease a new BMW today and receive full maintenance at no additional cost. The station that covers Kern County, 23 ABC News at 11. And thank you for choosing 23 ABC News at 11. I'm Tim Callahan in for Amanda Gomez tonight. The BPD is working yet another crash in southwest Bakersfield that they believe could be caused by street racing. The accident killed at least one person tonight. It happened earlier this evening near McKetchum and Ash Roads. Officials have not confirmed the identities of the victim or whether anyone else was hurt. They did say the accident could be possibly linked to street racing. And 23 ABC's Leslie Marine joins us now in studio with how police are working to stop this exact scenario from happening. Leslie? Tim, this is the third deadly crash tied to street racing in just over three months in the southwest. And just last night, we went out with police to patrol this area for racers. Another accident and another life taken by street racing, something the Bakersfield police are on a mission to end. And we're just out kind of looking for locations that people have been calling in, complaining that these are locations where they are congregating. The first stop, this pulls just off of Gosford Road. That's where last week police found nearly 300 street racers. While today seems to be quiet, Grubb says this is where much of the criminal activity starts. They will, um, you know, kind of look at everybody's car, kind of like a car show type of thing almost. Where it runs into a problem is where they're doing illegal activities in those parking lots or worse, they're out on the street. In the last few months, street racing has become a problem in the Southwest. <laughs> Many roads like Gosford turn into coffee and White Lane stretches for miles. The main, like the three three lanes each direction, the larger roadways. Um, Gosford is particularly good because it is a you know it's straight straight road for a long way. Um, so that's kind of heavy. The long roads are highly attractive to street racers who are putting in thousands of dollars to get their cars as fast as 120 miles per hour. So when you're looking like this chrome pipe right there that leads to that um, air filter that's exposed, that's like your immediate telltale sign, if you will, that um, something's going on in here. The modifications that were made to this engine will land the driver a major citation. Although police hope these operations will help stop the problem, they know it won't be easy. I don't think that they're too, too worried about it until you know something tragic happens and then they're living with that for the rest of their lives or they kill a friend of theirs or um, they kill somebody else. The BPD cited 62 drivers, 25 were for having modified cars. They impounded six vehicles and made two arrests, one for a DUI, the other for driving a car that was previously ticketed during an operation last week. Police say they will continue to hold these operations until the racing stops. In studio, Leslie Marine, 23 ABC. All right, Leslie, 